Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, and I'm so excited we got the uh, Outbreak update. It's just come out from uh, Clay Entertainment for Oxygen Not Include. Super excited to start. Um, sit back and enjoy. I'm going to make lots of mistakes, I'm sure, because there's a lot of new stuff here, but it uh, should be fun. So let's get started here. Oh yeah, this is new, the game settings, so you can make it harder make the immune systems weak um, or regular and you can make the stress levels higher if you want if you want it to be harder. I'm just gonna go with the standard game though. So when you pick characters there's a new uh, attribute immunity. There's also medicine. Determine determines the duplicate's ability to heal others. So that's uh that's interesting. I'm gonna go with these three. I'm not too picky. Um, I just want to get in there and start playing. Ill Pit. Uh, coughing Moon Base. Space Camp. I like Space Camp. Ooh, here we are. So there's some new overlays. Germ overlay. Uh, we don't have any germs yet, I don't think, that we can see, so not as exciting. And then there's a farming overlay, which is new. So the plants don't have yields anymore, apparently. But they do, they're a bit more picky in terms of their conditions. So this one's not growing because it doesn't have enough uh, light. There's a new kind of mushroom that only grows in the dark. And certain plants need certain gases now. Uh, I'm not sure the exact ones yet, but we'll get into that. And there's a new way to disinfect. It's kind of like mopping, but they sp they spray like chlorine gas and clean things up if your germs get too ahead of you. So there's two kinds of germs. There's slime lung, which you find in slime biomes. And there's food poisoning, which uh, if they come out of the outhouse and they don't wash their hands, they'll spread uh, food poisoning all over the place. So we gotta be careful about how we build our bathrooms, I think. So what should we do first? Let's start digging, I guess. I kinda wanna sequester the bathrooms off in uh in a little not, yeah, maybe a sealed room, put an airlock in. And put some hand washing stations in. Do we have those right away? Let's see. Ooh, wash basin. Passing by in a selected direction. Okay, so it's directional. Oh, we got a hatch already. <laughs> Let's take everyone off combat. I'm gonna put in the bathrooms maybe over here. Oh, there's a light bug. This is a new thing. Shine bug. It's a bug that produces light. Body temperature. Oh. You offer decor? He doesn't have much health. I wonder uh I wonder how they heal up. Or are they always at 5 health? It's cute though. Like a little helicopter. A little drone. Okay, let's get some hand washing going. Wash basin. Don't really see how you can turn it around. I guess they work both ways always? Okay. Now I saw people building two of these. Uh, in kind of the previews. I don't know why they build two, but maybe one will, they'll use one on the way out, or maybe it's just for redundancy, just in case two dupes go at once. Okay, these need water. That makes sense. Let's get a little ladder down here. How close are they to going to the bathroom? 
bladder 57%. Uh oh. Oh no, the water fell through. <laughs> Into our shine bug. No, I hope he doesn't die. Oh no. Don't die. Okay, what else do we have here? I think there's a new water collection thing. Liquid bottler, bottle emptier. Now, I think we need this to collect water. Not sure. Take this all the way down. Hopefully they can hold their bladder until got some liquid bottler in there. Okay, where can we build this? Let's build this right here. I'm gonna make tons of mistakes because this is all new, but it's new and exciting. New and fun. Oh, you just got some water. Slow things down here. Okay, so these have water now. Let's quickly build a toilet. Stick it right here. And let's build two for good measure. Yeah, our shine bug didn't die. Use direction both. Oh, you can change the direction here. Left, right, both. Let's set those priority nine so they always wash their hands. Or maybe that's for the refill of the water. Not sure. We want them to wash their hands going in and out, I think. Okay, let's see our diseases. So this is the source of the disease. Food poisoning. And we don't have any spread yet, which is good. Let's build a second outhouse. Oh, there they go. Pooping right away. What just happened? Made a mess. Someone pooped themselves already. Oh, look at them. Covered already. I'm a failure. Okay, how do we disinfect? Where is this mess? Oh, down there. Okay. Oh, and it's going into our water supply. <laughs> uh. Oh, wow, that was fast. Completely messed up already. Okay. Can we disinfect the water? Let's mop up this a little bit right away. So our water supply is contaminated. What is this thing? Oh, polluted water. We need a place for our polluted water to go. Let's crack in here. And maybe build a polluted water pit here. Really don't know what I'm doing here. Need some beds. Put those over here for now. I think we have to boil the water to fix the disease in this clean water here. Polluted water. Emits polluted oxygen and can accelerate the spread of disease. Thermo aqua tuner. Cools liquid, but heats the immediate vicinity around it. This is awesome. This is like so. I'm so glad they put this in. We'll play with that later. Bottle emptier. Empties bottle liquids back into the world. I think we want that here for our polluted water.
Stick everything in here. It's got some new music too. So he's polluted coming out of there. Wash their hands, they come get nice and clean. Still got a little bit on him. Oh, the seed he's the seed he's holding onto is diseased. Oh, now this is diseased. Wow. Can they disinfect each other? <laughs> Okay, so polluted water, let's see. Bottle emptier. Let's try to put that right there, I guess. Okay, what do we do with this thing? Okay, put polluted water in there. Okay, priority six. Allow auto bottling, I have no idea what that means. Okay, let's see what happens. We should sweep all this stuff out of here first, though. Oh no, they just stepped in blue water. <laughs> I don't know how deadly that is. Oh, it's pretty bad. I don't think we want them actually down in this water. I should put my emptier up here, maybe. Hmm. Deconstruct that, maybe? Yeah, we never want them to go in here. Bottle emptier. We got a new duplicate already, okay. Let's not take on anyone just yet. Three is enough with all this craziness going on. This diseased water. Probably stick our research area over here. Stress is pretty low. Well, we don't have complete massive spread of disease yet. At least we have the poop and pee contained. <laughs> okay, let's put some power in here. Power. Generator. Research station. Those up. And we need a battery. Probably put those too close together, but oh well. Now I think this is all the same. Decontamination. There might be some new stuff, but we'll get to it. Actually, can we just mop up this polluted water? Or is that just going to put it in a bottle? I'm not quite sure how we deal with polluted water. Just yet. I have a feeling I'm just going to mop it up, put it in a bottle, and then empty it again. <laughs> but we'll find out here. Before, mopping would just make it disappear which is kind of weird in a way, but... Okay, where's it going? Yeah, into bottles. And they're picking it up, and they're dumping it. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But if we turn this off, and they mop it up, we'll just stay in nice little contained... 
bottles. Yes. Look at that. Oh, it's emitting. No, no, it's not emitting. Huh. Okay. It's good to know. I don't know if that's how we're supposed to do it, but maybe later on when we have the ability to boil it or disinfect it somehow, we'll deal with it. But I'm, I'm okay with it just sitting in bottles like that, as long as it doesn't affect anything. Can we disinfect water? I think we have to boil it. Yeah, I think we have to boil this water to make it good. So maybe we should seal this off till we can boil it and then tap into this nice clean water here. Oh, look at this. These are all dirty. Because they were in here, I guess. Okay, let's... Let's just... Seal this area off. Actually, we don't need to disable it. It'll be blocked off. So, you seal that. Seal that. Okay, good. Now we can get into this nice clean water. And hopefully we won't ruin it. Now this acts as a little platform on its own. And it kind of grows as, as much as it needs to. We'll put that right there. Actually, put it right here so I can get to the bottom. And we'll build a little ramp for them to get there. I think that'll work. Now chlorine apparently is going to be more useful. It'll sterilize things. I don't know how exactly we'll do that yet, but... We actually have a lot of chlorine around here. <laughs> more than I'm used to seeing. So I just noticed, uh, if we look at the germs, we click on this water, we can see the germs. It says, uh, d dying on liquid. 3% dead per cycle. So I guess these germs will go down slowly over time sitting in clean water. So eventually we might be able to use this on its own. And we're going to need a compost pretty soon. We're almost done the research for that, so we'll put that in next. Okay, research complete. Just work our way down the left, I guess. Gas piping next. Infected food. Okay, we gotta compost the dirty food. Where is this dirty food? These seeds all have food poisoning on them. That's not good. How did this liquid bottler get all dirty? Let's try to disinfect it. There's no priority on disinfect. Not sure why. Okay, is that going to clear that up? Yes, good. How's our oxygen? Uh, a bit thin. We gotta make some room for air to flow downwards. We want our CO2 falling down here, I guess. Can put a compost in now. Let's put that over here by the by the lavatory. By the by the shitter. Am I allowed to say that? The shitter? Now I'm making these wash basins so that they only wash their hands when they leave. I don't think it needs to be on both. They'll just be wasting time. Now I notice there's this thing 
under if we go into research there's this thing called a ore scrubber that's new kills all germs present on raw ore and we do have some stuff that has germs on it uh, if we look at the germ overlays there's inside these storage compactors if you go under info you can see these seeds well, that's not raw ore but this sandstone has food poisoning so I'll have to figure out how to clean that stuff later. Stress is creeping up a bit. We got planter boxes now. Maybe we should dig this out. And get some planter boxes growing in here. Probably take on one more for now, but that's probably going to be it until we get a good amount of food growing. Go, dupes, go! Oh, we're missing a bed. <laughs> so let's put some planters in. Food, planter box, okay, meal wood. Life cycle, three cycles. Well, it doesn't. Only three cycles to grow. That's fast. Temperature, 10 to 30. Air pressure, 150 minimum. You can grow in oxygen, pollute oxygen. Okay, or carbon dioxide. Seed, harvest chance, 33%. So we get kind of renewable seeds. That's nice. Let's plant that. And then what, is, what does blossom seed need? Requires water for basic growth. Okay, so we did, gotta do those in hydroponics. Fungal spore, that's new. Produces mushrooms. Needs to grow in darkness and carbon dioxide. Oh, and it needs sli slime to grow. Okay, that's cool. Instead of fertilizer. And sleet wheat needs fertilizer. And water and cold conditions. Okay, neat. What priority did it? Let's do this priority eight. And let's put in some more planter boxes. Maybe not that many. I'm digging the new music. It's nice. Oh, immune systems. This is new. 100%, okay. Do we get any more spreading of yuckiness? No little bit down here. I wonder if we could put a hand washing station here. We'll just we'll keep an eye on the germs. We'll check once in a while. Because if we build something out of that sandstone that's dirty. Okay, what's wrong with these guys? Pressure. They need more pressure. Oh damn hatch. Guess we'll get a deoxidizer going. Maybe up near the living quarters. Let's see how this... Yeah, it looks like this went down slightly. Germs. So if we get it below 25 degrees or over 75 degrees, it'll it'll die, I think. So eventually we want to maybe have a hot water reservoir that we just can cook all this stuff in. And it's slowly dying in this water, so eventually we'll go in there and we'll be able to use that water. And I think there's a way to use chlorine to purify things, so try that out. Stress, 12%. Now let's make sure we don't have stress getting away on us. Let's put a massage table in. Oh, this is venting out polluted oxygen. It says zero kilograms per second, but it's definitely venting. That's a bug. We do have airflow tile. Oh, they rename things. Let's put some uh, airflow tiles in. How's our. Uh, okay, let's see here. We don't want anyone on art except for maybe Harold. Uh, research. Let's take everyone off research except for Bonnie. And health is a bit low on these two because they've been 
messing with the hatches. So let's put in a medical bed. Maybe up here. So we can get, get them to 100%. Oh, unassigned. Unreachable restroom. Huh? Oh, recuperating duplicates must have toilets available within 10 cells. That's new. Okay, well... Deconstruct that and move it a bit closer. One, two, three... I guess that wasn't quite 10. Maybe we'll put it right here. Interesting. Okay, 10 cells. That should be fine, right? Try that out. Oh, are we researching? Yeah. I also want research to be priority, uh, high priority. So we got good food growing here. I think food grows way faster now, so which is excellent. We won't have to do those mush bars, which are kind of yucky. Unreachable food. What the heck? Let's put the let's put a fridge. Do we have fridge yet? Uh, we don't have fridge yet. Let's put a ration box over by the bed. They really make you have to plan this stuff out. And then we can make this priority 9 for food and deconstruct this so they shift all the food over. Ah, now we can assign it. Okay, who who was injured? Ada. Ada Lovelace. Okay, we'll get her in there. Oh look! Devin is treating to her with a thermometer. <laughs> so she heals without... I don't know if she needs people to tend to her or not. Let's build a CO2 pit here. We can make it bigger. When we need to. I like this light bug. Sorry, shine bug. Reminds me of Princess Mononoke, the cartoon or animated movie. Can put in some art now. Let's put those in the bedrooms, maybe over the research, over the wheel, over the research, over the bed. Maybe over by the compost. How are germs? Lots of germs in here. Building materials. Oh, look at that compost. It's filthy. Oh, we got our meal, meal wood uh, growing already, and we got some seeds. Nice. So this is kind of renewable, because a third of the time you get seeds, so it should just be like an infinite food source here. Oh, he's painting already. Oh, they automatic they automatically painted. So you don't build the canvas and then the art, I guess. They just do the art right away. And this is new. Look at this new painting. Uh-huh. I like it. Masterpiece. It looks like this polluted water is slowly just dis disappearing. Because there was four bottles here, now there's only two. So we're going to need a fertilizer synthesizer as our polluted water sink. So we'll eventually get on that. P pinch of pepper nut is another thing I think we can... Can we see from here what it needs? Requirements. Additional domestic growth. Uh, yeah, it needs polluted water. So we got a couple ways, at least, to get rid of polluted water. What is this? Look at this! Hilarious. Oh, that's the sound he's making. I like the new art. I like the new music, I like the new art. 
We haven't been overwhelmed with germs yet. We probably will be, because I don't know what I'm doing. So here's the new plant overlay, so we can see quickly uh, how, how close are these all are to being ready to harvest. I'm going to put in some more planter boxes. Now in theory, we're going to not have enough seeds to sustain this, but I think it's okay because some of them will rem remain empty. We want to get them growing right as quickly as possible. Okay, we're done all the basic research. We're going to need a supercomputer. Let's stick that right here. It's probably a bit close to the massage table, but it won't be there for too long. Oh, natural gas geyser. Here's the new art for the gas geysers. They grow on neutronium. They're not like centralized anymore, they're grow on a surface. So there's gonna be our power. Oh, and this is new. Here's the new dust cap mushroom. Gonna grow those in CO2 in the dark. Anything else that got uncovered? Nope, not yet. So I'm gonna keep the episodes a bit shorter so I can get them out to you guys. Uh, so I'll wrap up this one. It seems like a good point to leave it and I'll be putting out episodes really quite often, maybe multiple times a day uh, as I build up this new base in Outbreak. So excited. Uh, and hopefully this base is sustainable and not like get, you know, it's probably going to get overridden by bacteria and disease, but especially when we get into this uh, slime biome, but we'll see how it goes. It's a learning experience. Uh, hopefully I can give you tips along the way though. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you uh, want to get alerted on future videos and click the bell if you want an email each time. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.